Art Masker's love of community and his drive to improve it has guided him throughout his life. God has used his love of outdoors as a beacon, pointing him to people and places where he is uniquely suited to fill the needs of others. Art grew up in Mount Kisco, New York, and came to Maryville College in 1966. Growing up in the Presbyterian Church, he was already familiar with Maryville. After visiting two other schools, he arrived on campus. He recalls being overcome with a welcoming spirit. The mountains with their hiking trails and backpacking opportunities appealed to him. Even though it was 14 hours from home, the decision to start his next chapter here was not difficult. When moving into the dorms, like so many other students, Art was a little nervous. Preparing for the first day of school, he recalls unpacking the new shoes he had purchased before leaving New York, only to find that he had two left shoes. The coming days proved that fitting in at Maryville College was almost as easy as replacing those shoes. That sense of community he had recognized on his visit proved to be exactly as advertised. Art intended to pursue a career in pastoral ministry. After being undeclared his freshman year, he tried his hand at sociology and eventually found his home in the psychology department. He excelled academically, but in retrospect, it was the guidance in social ethics, what is meant to be a good citizen, that he valued the most. The head of the psychology department, Dr. Jerry Waters, was an influential mentor. Dr. Harry Harder, the director of the music department, also proved to play a crucial role in Art's life. It was his love of music and his participation in the choir that led him to Miss Martha Fraser. We were on choir tour and we were riding on the bus. Not quite sure where, uh, but I made a move and she responded in a positive way. Uh, and we started a close relationship that uh, ended up uh, in a permanent uh, close relationship. We celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary last June by taking an Alaska cruise. Marty is the always loving. She's the relational person of this two-person team. I'm the task-oriented. She's the relational person. Um, she loves her children. She loves her grandchildren. And I credit her with standing behind me. Uh, and. Uh, Love her to death. After graduation, Art went to the University of Tennessee where he earned his master's in educational psychology. Just prior to graduation, he was approached by a board member of the nearby Friendsville Academy. The school was in search of a headmaster. Art was offered and accepted the job. Art, fresh out of school, began what would become his life's mission in assessing educational environments and rolling up his sleeves to make improvements, both educationally and socially, for the children. Friendsville Academy was rooted in a Quaker theology influenced by a very conventional approach. Art saw value in pursuing a traditional Eastern Quaker approach. He implemented substantial changes, including week-long interim sessions similar to what he had experienced at Maryville College. Students and teachers worked together on community service projects, extracurricular experiences such as backpacking, and campus improvement projects. Through these programs, students and teachers were able to form relationships outside the classroom. As the school struggled through integration and Vietnam War sentiments, these relationships brought everyone closer together. Art is proud of the fact that, after all these years, several students from Friendsville Academy still keep in touch with him. After three years in Friendsville, God began to move Art in another direction. He and Marty went back to New York where they could look for their next opportunity. Living in a camper near his parents' house, they worked together to discover where life would take them next. Art typed out numerous applications on a manual typewriter and waited to see what would transpire. He received a reply from the Holston United Methodist Home for Children in Greenville, Tennessee. They were in need of a case manager. Art and Martha left New York to visit Greenville for the very first time and determine if the opportunity was the right move. Upon arriving in Greenville, Art experienced many similarities that reminded him of his first trip to Maryville. Greenville was also a small town with a strong sense of community. The beautiful mountains offered lots of outdoor opportunities. He accepted the position and began a 40-year career in Greenville that would culminate in his retirement as president of the organization. When Art began his career, the approach taken by children's homes primarily involved housing and caring for kids who were either orphaned 
or had come from difficult home situations where their parents were unable to care for them. Art realized that societal changes were calling for a new approach. As the country saw an increase in single-parent homes and homes where both parents worked outside the home, he knew there was a need for a new direction. With the focus on reducing the need for children to live in the facility and an increased concentration of early childhood education, Art began to implement foster care programs and in-home counseling services, allowing children to continue living with relatives while still getting the help and guidance they needed. He became involved with, and eventually led, organizations at the state level to influence government approaches to child welfare. As president of the organizations such as the Tennessee Organization for Child Care and the Tennessee Conference of Social Welfare, Art testified before state legislative bodies advocating for state funding to help children in need. Under Art's guidance, the Holston United Methodist Home for Children grew from a staff of 40 to a staff of 200. The state of Tennessee evolved from one of the lowest rated states in the country to one of the most recognized in reducing out-of-home care for children. Art and Marty's love of nature has been evident in nearly every decision they have made. Whether the forest is in New York State or Tennessee, that's where you'll find them. They have restored a cabin in Greene County that was built in 1842. They use the cabin as a retreat. It is totally off the grid. There, they like to enjoy nature's seclusion, work on the cabin, and their organic garden. Art is also very involved with the Boy Scouts of America. His joy in the outdoors and his drive to help children make the organization a perfect fit for him. He has been guiding boys from the arrow of light and onward to the path of Eagle Scout for 57 years. God has been very active in guiding Art's life, and Art has always paid very close attention. From a New York boy to a Maryville College man to a tireless worker for the benefit of children and society as a whole, Art is a difference maker in the lives of others. Women and men who were once children in need call on him now to tell him how he helped. Art is a man of nature, a man of principles, a man with a seemingly endless supply of love and energy to share. Maryville College is very proud to be a part of his story. We are honored to award Art Masker class of 1969 with this year's Alumni Citation Award.